Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And today we have an exclusive bottle for our company, a Cavalan Solist Sherry Cask, priced, well, between 120 and 150. Mm -hmm. And it's 54.8 ABV, so a little intense for my personal uh, sense so that I will add water, which is not on the cask already, so I have to get up and fetch it yeah. <laughs> when you're tasting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 54.8% um, ABV, and the Solist is kind of a series of whiskies that are single cask, and they all have a serial, serial number, they all have a cask type, and they all have the the signature of the master blender. Where is it? Oh, we didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's inside. And yeah, so it's kind of their, yeah, their, actually it doesn't, actually doesn't have a signature. And so this is like their, their single cask series. Uh, our cask is the cask S1704250492. Probably for Germany then. Yeah, and it's an Deutschland. Olo Deutschland, Deutsch. uh, and it's an Oloroso sherry cask. Yeah, there are uh, tasting notes on that card box, but that is used for the whole Solist range. So here you, we get the well, the overall common taste of those bottles, and they write tasting notes: uh, color, dark resin. Yeah. Clean and complex with multiple layers of dry fruit, nuttiness and spices with some marzipan and vanilla touch to it as well. That's the nose of a typical sherry cask maturation and palate, rich, oily and full with pleasant dried fruit and spices that linger on in the mouth, plus a hint of fine coffee. So this is the major taste of Cavalan for those solists and there are a lot of solists on the market and all are quite expensive and there is there are ranges with different cask types and this is the Oloroso sherry cask solist type so if we like to compare it to a solist in your country then uh, yeah this bottle has as well a sticker here for being fake proofed and yeah that's it so where we talked a little bit more of the location of the distillery, of the climate of uh, Taiwan, which is the calls itself the Republic of China, and uh, that was in the triple cask, triple sherry cask bottling of uh, Cavalan, which we tasted a few days ago. Very good cork. This is even a little bit darker than the triple cask. And I found the small water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> 54, yeah, that's 54.8. That's really at the verge of where I would say a bit yeah. too high. That's the, the maximum I had had been uh, 53 point naught. And uh, well, that wasn't the first of the day, and uh, this isn't either, but uh, I think I will dilute it down just below 50 to give a, to have a uh, authentic taste of such a, uh, yeah, intense bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a little bit, it's fresher than the one we had mm -hmm. before. So there's this marzipan like aroma, rose water, or a wine note as well, sherry, vanilla in the back, and a very light, uh, yeah, cool alcoholic note. Yeah, it's the 54.8. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a nice sherry cask whiskey. And it does have the raisins, it does have the marzipan, it does have the fruitiness to it. But 
it's a bit more laid back, I would say, as the, the triple cask. So it's, um, it's a pleasant one, but you do feel that it's a bit stronger. I would say, yeah, I will add some, some water to it as well, but just really a smidge of it. Mm. Oh, we'll do it ourselves. But it's a beautiful color. It's not yeah. colored, it's, it's not chill filtered. It's yeah, it's darker than the other one. Of course, it's not diluted by water. So just below 50 to give an authentic view. So marks on the glass, extremely. And it's a lot smoother now. These whiny notes come to the front. Still sherry, more nuttiness now. The marzipan is still there, probably a little bit more intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your turn. It's, it's nice, it just opened up. It's more pleasant. Marzipan is still there, yes. But it's, it's much rounder and much mm -hmm. pl more pleasant and just uh, feels like a, a velvet glove. Yeah. How, um, how much have you in it? Just a little bit or? Just a smidge, mm -hmm. really. Okay. Not much. I didn't dilute it a lot. Mm -hmm. I would say just, just around 50. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, very hefty, very intense, spiciness on, on the tongue, orange juice, friendly, spiciness in the back, nuttiness in the back, mouthful, mouth-watering, cladding, wow. Yeah, mm. I like that very, very much. Mm. Mm. Very pleasant whiskey. Although you do realize from, from the point of view of alcohol, it's stronger. It is, now I do have it more fresh. As you, you, you have already had that in the nose. Mm -hmm. I have it now in, in the taste, it's more fresh. Mm. Maybe it has to do something with the alcohol. Maybe it's just not that heavily matured as the triple one. But it's for me, it's much, much better balanced and just much, much more pleasant. I do love it. It's still, uh, yeah, tropical or not tropical or hot, matured, very additive, matured whiskey and yeah, a cover long. Yeah, the second is even more, more building up the taste in your mouth and it's yeah, it's on the top of maturation. So it does not carry an age statement because the maturation in that hot climate is running very, very fast. So you have to be careful not to go over the top to have this aromatic uh, oak chewing uh, <laughs> feeling uh, with an overmatured whiskey, which you quite often find with 40, 50 year old whiskeys. And if the climate is hotter, and the, they are on the slope to the central mountains where it can get cold in winter. Mm -hmm. So the difference between the hot summers and the cold winters uh, is significant. So the whiskey matures very fast and loses alcohol as well, quite fast over the cycles. Oh yeah, that that's, have. that's what I want to say. It's an Oloroso sherry cask. Not quite sure if they also Called Hawks Heads or also Sherry Cast, but still it has um, bottles. It's only 214 bottles coming out there. So maybe that's just a half empty 500 liter, or it's um, we didn't lose that much from the 250 Hawks Head. Mm -hmm. Might be. Yeah, that's wonderful. Cast like strength, it. I would rather go for the 500, <laughs> my estimate. Yeah, so really nice whiskey. Uh, around, what would you say, 120, 150? And there are a lot of, of solists out there, mm -hmm. but they are, yeah, they vary a little bit in what they have inside as they are single cars. Yeah, that was about it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.